My name is. 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 Beto Soto. It's Christini. It's Madeline McKenna. Samuel Martin. It's Kyle Fuller. And I'm running for ASU Dub President. 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 And I'm running for ASU Dub President. We asked the 2010 ASU Dub presidential candidates what sets them apart. My community has also been a huge part of me, and I know that from the other candidates, my community's been a bit different. And the way that um, I've actually grown up here in the UW has been a little different from others and the other people's stories. So when I come into office, I've come in with like a new, fresh perspective. I find myself in that position where I've been acquainted with the system and understanding of how ASU Dub works, but I pose that one unique experience where I have not been uh, pretty much shadowed in ASU Dub my entire college career. I'm not doing this for a, a title or for a resume builder. Um, in fact, it kind of makes me nervous that with a title because I think people can get jaded once they have a business card, once they have their name, you know, or in their picture in the bookstore, which honestly that kind of freaks me out having my poster in the bookstore, but I really want to do this because I want to help students. I think I stand out because um, I really bring the right blend of experience, vision, leadership um, to the presidency. I've served as ASUW Vice President this year and had a number of successes working on projects such as the UPASS. I definitely think my story has uh, shows a, uh, plays a big role in it, um, coming from uh, system, the, the foster care system, which is pretty much set up for youth to fail. Um, I experienced various different types of abuse, neglect, um, and, uh, but through it all, you know, perseverance, you know, making sure that I kept fighting. I think that uh, because of that, it makes me a stronger individual as a whole. I, uh, I, I've been through a lot, and I know that there's a, uh, there's a lot, there's a lot that I can help and contribute to this, to the, uh, to the University of Washington. One thing in common that we all do have is we just want to grade with the UW experience and, the, and how the students view the UW and how the ACW interacts with students. I realized that there are certain things I was unsatisfied about in my education um, and my experience here at the UW. Nothing that, that boiled me over, but few things that I wondered why they weren't being fixed. Um, and at that time, I was unaware of how I, as an individual, just a student attending the UW, could change my experience and those for many others. As I looked into it and I did some research, I found out, you know, ASU Dub does do those things and that they're the voice for us. And so I considered, why aren't these things changing? They seem quite obvious to myself and many others. And so I started considering, well, I can make that change. Why can't I run for, why can't I run for president? Why can't I do things that make a difference? Why should people vote for me? Because I want to be a servant to them. I want to be a servant to their needs, their concerns, their issues, and their rights for every student. I really am passionate about this job. I have no, nothing more, no more plans for next year except to become president. And I hope that passion, that dedication shows through to the students when I do talk to them, when I do come to a forum. I'm running for president because I think that students at the University of Washington face huge challenges next year. And I think that students need someone who's going to be able to lead them through those difficult times. So um, we have number of different challenges facing students next year. Um, of course, budget cuts. Next year, the legislature is going to have to um, balance the, bu the biennial budget. Um, we have the hub closing down, the Ethnic Cultural Center closing down, um, and everything's moving to Condon. So that'll be another challenge. And then, of course, President Emmert will be leaving um, for the NCAA, so we'll be without a president as well. And so that'll be another tough challenge for the, uni for the university. No, I'm running for president because uh, I think that my skill set, um, being an advocate that works in worked in the foster care system, and uh, I've been in Olympia. You know, ever since I've been working in the foster care system when I was 16, I got to go to Olympia. I got to testify in front of the Senate. I met legislators. I met the governor. I met people, you know, who are important in that system, and I have advocates and friends who are willing to fight on behalf of the issues that I know are close to me um, in that system. And I think that's important when it comes to having a representative for the students. I think with president comes a lot of responsibility um, to really help students and help students uh, both individually as well as RSOs and different organizations on campus. And I'm really excited to take so much of what I've learned through other people, um, you know, through you know, my fellow employees, other students, my advisors, and really give that back to students and help them figure out, you know, whether they're putting out a program or they're trying to figure out financial aid, just to give and impart any wisdom that I have, wisdom that seems a little of a loaded word, but any information that I've learned and give that back to students and really help them to become the best person, best student that they can be. We also asked the candidates what kinds of skills have prepared them for the role of ASU Dub president. 
Um, I've helped coordinate um, a campaign to gather public opinion about um, how students feel about the UPASS and what, where they want, might want to see that program go in the future. So I've helped get thousands of students to weigh in on this important issue. Um, I've also founded and directed the Husky Mentors Program, um, which grew, grew to 1,000 members in its first year. So I think I really have the um, right balance of leadership experience, um, both on campus and off. And I'm good with people. I mean, you can look at, um, I'm at fraternity social events. You can look at, um, attend church, like how I cast vision and bring people along with no resources, but my own voice and my own passion. My passion and my servant leadership style, I would say. Also, um, the way I was grown up, the way my traditions, my values have been, I want to carry that into my office. And, um, you know, I am just really grown at this school, and that's because of student leadership. It's really allowed me to, um, you know, push myself and really go out of my comfort zone, and I want to give back. I want to give back to AC Dub, and I want to give back to the school. And that's why I'm running for president, and that's what I think makes me a little different. Um, I also am very skilled in uh, working with teams and working with different people. Um, I, I know how to bring the strength out of people, and I think I'm an overall all-around leader. You can vote online at MyUW May 10th through May 12th.